And Lions released the new Yeah, yes, I should have a warm up session first before I open my fat mouth. Ugh. I got a drinking problem. Well, hi, everybody. Ant Lion. You know, the people who make the mod mic, they've made a new mod mic. This is the mod mic USB 2. Brand new, hot off the whatever the thing that it came off of. So they've redesigned a lot of what made the mod mic USB so interesting. They've also got the mod mic uh, Uni, the, the new version of that. They're both going to be pretty much the same, but I like the USB version. And I'll get to that in just a second. First off, I want to talk about the microphone. So let's see here. We've got it here on the desk. Now, this is the mic right here. It's different than the previous USB mod mic in a few key ways. So let's cover that real quick. First off we have a larger capsule up here for a better signal to noise ratio and there's even lower line noise they've also redesigned uh, the housing to improve the acoustics up here in the front so they say we'll test all this in just a minute i'm kind of reading their words right now and then we also have just a single capsule that they say has the best of both worlds so you get maximum quality with full-on noise rejection again we're going to test it so you'll be able to hear the difference also plug up the old mod mic as well Thanks to Hookies for sponsoring this video. Now these are OEM Windows keys. That means that you do your own tech support. You're not going to be relying on Microsoft and they're generally locked to the hardware. We got a coupon code. Click on buy now. Put in coupon code TS25. Hit apply and that price comes down. Now when you compare that to the outrageous prices from Microsoft, you'd have to buy this many, many, many times to equal the price of one regular key from Microsoft. As of right now, this Windows 10 Pro key will unlock Windows 11. We also have Windows 10 Home. Windows 11, you can buy it directly. Windows 11 Home. And we have two flavors of Office. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here. Go to your user center. Click on My Purchase Orders. Just View, Keys, and Codes. Then you can just copy and paste your key. Hit Start. Type Activate. Click on Activation Settings. Paste it in there. Click on Next. And you will be activated. So head on over to hookies.com to get yourself an OEM Windows key at a price that makes sense. And then they've also gone through and just improved all of the joints here. They all feel really good. Cable feels really nice. It's like a soft touch cable. All right, as far as the rest of this goes, we do have a little mute right here that hangs down. So this will be while you're wearing it, you know, about where your collarbone is, you'll have a button here for mute. And this does light up. Really appreciate that they've included this. This is something that we need in the modern age. It's USB type A to type C. So if you're dealing with a laptop or something that just has a bunch of type C, you're still going to be able to use this adapter. And if not, you can use this adapter for something else. Let's let's just say you're new to mod mic and you don't know how any of this works. I always forget because I've had, I guess, every mod mic since the first one. I was very excited when the first one came out. Uh, and now I'm still excited, which is pretty cool. The mod mic is a microphone that you can mod on to attach to any set of headphones and when i'm talking like pretty much any all right there we go there's only one that i've had trouble with and i brought it out for show and tell see there, there you go i just attached a mic so how did i do that well they have a very sticky little surface right here this is a 3m sticker pad on the bottom you use an alcohol swab and they've included one in here and you clean off the surface let it dry for just a second and then after it's fully dried stick this on there now you got to make sure you're sticking it in the right spot so you know what, let's just do a full on show and tell here. I'm clearing my desk. All right, so you can see what I'm doing really well. I'm gonna grab my little handheld right here and just show you what's going on on the desk. My set of headphones here, I've already, ooh, already got it installed right there. So when you're putting it on there, do a little bit of a trial run. You know, you kind of want it to be down, pointed to your mouth, you know, towards your mouth. So this can rotate because there are different teeth there that it can rotate to and from. But you want to make sure that you kind of put it in the right angle. There we go. That's the angle that I wanted. So that's how I've got mine. There we got a lot of shadows there. And it just it just works. It's just on there. And then you can flex this. It bends. There we go. It's also very firm. So it bends into place, then it's not going anywhere. All right, on the other side there, you can see that's the microphone side. It shows you right there. Microphone. Little picture of a microphone. And then on the other side, we've got the Antlion logo. Magnets, man. How do they work? They work by being cool. That's it. All right, and then we also have this little shape right here. What's that do? Well, that helps balance the tension. So it's not just pulling down right here. It puts the tension back here. And that way, it's not putting an extreme amount of strain on the actual magnet. I mean, this is on there. Look, I can pick up my, almost pick up my, oh, almost. <laughs> I can almost pick up my entire headphones with the magnet attached like that. So that's pretty cool. This is ugly, I just realized. Let's, let's do it, let's be professional. All right, so once you get off of there, you son of a, got magnets sticking and everything. So once you get that set up, well, you're gonna have two cables now because now we have this cable and we have your headphone cable right here. 
so you'll have two cables going down. Well, inside here they've included five little, I guess, uh, cable loops and you just loop your cables together so all the way down it'll be like that I'm not gonna put this on there because I'm gonna use it with a different set of headphones but yeah so now it's time to have another bit of goof off these are the only headphones that I've ever had trouble with see these and these grados the stuff always comes off but there's not a lot of free surface right there in the middle now normally open back headphones it's no problem I could have I could stick it on the open back but this is like not a very even surface this is the only pair of headphones I've ever had trouble with so you can't stick it on this little edge right here and angle it but yeah I don't think a lot of people have these I love them so I had a little trouble trying to get some mod mic stuff going on with this all right now we can compare both of these and the old one is actually it looks a little bigger right there like the base of it's bigger but apparently the chamber or whatever inside of the new one is is better as far as the acoustic design goes and also we have some visible screws on the old one no visible screws on this one it's a much sleeker design they both are premium in my opinion so either one of these is going to be good but now the old one we have some options here you can do cardioid or omni which i think is kind of interesting doing omni on a mic like this i'm sure if you want to be able to like get everything around you but you can check which one sounds better with your voice in the room no Omni option on this one. I don't think anyone used Omni, but it's there. So I'm okay with this. I think this is a much better way to go. Off. All right, I'm just going to get it into place right there. You know, one of the best things about this, if you have a nice big pair of headphones like this, nice set of cans, you really just feel like an airline pilot while you're doing this. All right, let's switch over and try out the mod mic now. I'm going to do the rest of the video with this one and the other one. I've switched from my super fancy uh, microphone. This is a professional microphone. I'll switch to the mod mic USB 2. All right, now that I'm wearing this, let's go through the specifications, shall we? So the microphone pattern is a unidirectional microphone, which is what you want because you don't want a lot of background noise. Sensitivity is 36 plus or minus three decibels. Impedance is 2.2 kilo ohms. Signal to noise ratio is 67 decibels. The maximum input sound pressure level is 110 decibels max. And as far as the um, internal DAC or the ADC chipset or whatever, maximum sample rate is 48 kilohertz, 16-bit resolution. The network range is 96 decibels, and the cable length is 2 meters. Let's see how that mute works right here. So I got the little mute button right here. Let's go ahead. So I'm going to make some noise in the background. Let's just see how well the noise canceling works. So let's see if I'm like doing, see, I've got this thing here. All right, I think I've tested out this Mod Mic USB quite enough. Let's try the old one for comparison, shall we? All right, now we're trying out the previous USB Mod Mic to see the difference. How different does it sound? Here we go. We got this thing going right here. Yep, it's going. You're surely going to be able to hear this. On both of these mics, I'm sure you can hear this in the background. But the point is like, does it isolate the voice over the background noise? I can't really simulate being in a noisy cafe because this is what I got right now. I'm just here. Cats. They love that sound, that crinkling sound. It's a singular sensation. Let's switch over to the Omni mode and we'll try that out for just a second. Omni mode. Did you hear me like I was everywhere? I am everywhere. All right, this is Omni mode. Again, I'm going to do this. Is it louder this way? All right, I don't want to test this much more. If you want to hear the tests again, well, you got to rewind. Let's switch back to the, the big microphone, finish up the video, and then go eat bananas in the shower. Well, that's that, the new mod mic. I like it. Let me know how it sounds. I'm so curious. I mean, I'm sure I'll see this when I'm editing it, but I didn't do any, like, previous like testing i wanted us all to hear this together i know some reviewers are like i'm going to review this and go in and tell you all the details and stuff but you know what i think a lot of these specs are important in the negatives and 90 decibels and this and that and the frequency response ranges is that it's all important but okay none of it's as important as just how good it sounds and how good it performs I know there's a, that's a little bit of a woo-woo type thing, but you got to be able to hear it and you got to be able to like see how it performs. Now, it's going to be different on everyone's stereos and everyone's headphones or whatever, but you should be able to get a decent idea from what I did, I hope. All the information for this is going to be in the description. Now, let's head over and see what is on sale. Yep, still still clearing off my shelves. And you all have been doing great. Thanks for grabbing up some shirts, everybody. Hope you're enjoying them. But we still have some left. Running low on a few of them, but let's see. Like this one, I know I've got a bunch of these left. So half price with the coupon code SHIRTLYNOT. Get on that stuff immediately. Yes. All right, there it all is. 
And then of course, we got some hardware on sale up here. Click on sale, why don't you? Or don't, just buy things full price, I don't care. So yeah, half price on a bunch of stuff up here. 33.60 sensor, that's flawless. All right, see you in the comments. <laughs>